Hello everybody, my name is Victor from Florida. I'm over here right now to try to explain you how to set up a CC9 voice LAN. CC9 voice LAN, as you already know, they have, well, probably you're going to be a little bit involved, have curiosity how to Cisco equipment works, but you don't know how to start. You probably have been trying doing some a little bit of the Cisco routers and Cisco switches. And you don't know the proper connection, what kind of equipment, what kind of phone would, uh, you're going to need, what is the proper cables that you're going to be using, where to get that from, how to get it, what type, what program. And there's a lot of confusion, what kind of phone, what kind of router, what kind of switch, what kind of get, what kind of application do I need to download, blah, 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 blah. You, oh my goodness, I'm going to be crazy. I went through the stuff. That's a lot. I spent a lot of time trying to walk the walk and try to understand that stuff. I have this DNA, I have this MP route uh, technician, and I am right now working on my CCNA voice that is probably is going in a couple months. That is is going to be called CCNA collaboration. So uh, let's start working right now. Let's start working with the. Let me explain you what the most simple stuff. I'm going to do that step by step. In case that you have any questions, please ask uh, over here, over here, you call me maybe, but I need to know how do we do that stuff. I'm here from Florida, we, we all the love in the world, we are going to try to explain how to do that and how did I set up that stuff. So let's start working with the very basic stuff. A cable. This is a straight through copper cable. This is the one that we are going to use. We are going to connect this from your, com from your computer to the phone from the phone to your switch from the switch to the router router switch we're gonna use this phone to switch we're gonna use this computer to phone guess which one we're gonna use make sure that you understand this and don't confuse this cable with this tiny one this tiny one is the OPOST uh, uh, category of, that we will use for the old phone system. Look how the port is way smaller than this one over here. The cable is different. It's flat. The other one is, is round. It's thicker on the both sides, or on this side, and this one is way bigger than plug. Don't confuse this cable either with a crossover cable. Crossover cable, as you could see over here on the tag, hopefully you're gonna see it. It's not very clear, but wait. Somehow I hope that you could that you could read it. This one is gonna be used from router to router and switch to switch. Never ever use this stuff. Ah, I forgot to tell you something very interesting uh, uh, as well, guys. This part of this video is going to be made in two parts. The first part is going to be our physical devices and routers and switches and everything. This is the kind of what I have right now physically, but I can touch it. And the second part is going to be on the screen configuration. First part, this video. Second part, router and switch configuration. So you're going to be understanding what I'm doing and the application that I'm going to be using and how we're going to set up our phones right away. Back over here on the track, another kind of very important cable that we are going to be using to connect directly for your computers and the configuration of everything is going to be this cable. This cable is going to be your console cable. Console cable with light blue color. The same port that is going to be over here, this light blue color that we have, we're going to co connect to the blue port that we have in our router and in our switch as well. I'm going to say console cable as well. So from one part, look how thin it is. So we don't make any confused. And we are going to connect this over here to this, this device. This, believe it or not, is a small, this is a smarter uh, cable that we're going to use. This is a USB connector. USB 9 point connector, the same 9 port connector that you have over here. You are gonna you're gonna use this DB9 to connect from here to your computer and from your from the USB to your computer and from here 
to here. So, you're going to connect to the console cable that we've been speaking before. And we are going to connect this to my computer, right now to my laptop. Now we hear everything is connecting. So, I'm going to show you what I have right now. Now, the phone begins. My routers and switches. This is part of the routers and switches that I have at home. It's not all of them, but the ones that I want you to see right now. The one on the top with all the holes is my mom. To make it very, very simple, it's going to be my switch. It's a catalyst switch. It's a layer 3 switch. Remember the OSI layer? This is half of running capabilities. I can handle a quality of service. That means from one side, it's going to be running a data on VLAN, and on the other side, it's going to be running a company as well. So it, uh, it, this one, this catalyst switch, Cisco catalyst switch, a routing capability is a layer 3 switch, it's not a down switch. This one is an ISR, ISR router. An ISR router is a Cisco 2800 series router, ha have quality of service capabilities to handle voice and data through the VLAN. So it wouldn't, so it's going to make sure that everything is going to be running smooth and there wouldn't be a conflict and prioritize a voice over data on your system that you have. Make sure that you buy the proper equipment. And let me re repeat this why. On the catalyst switch, this is one that you're going to be using. And over here, ISR router, this is going to be using as well. Don't buy the middle because this doesn't have a, uh, this router in the middle, that is a Cisco 2600, it doesn't have router capabilities. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't have a quality of service capability. It cannot handle phone calls that you're going to have over there. Something that we are going to require for your lab. Besides that, what we're going to see over here is my Cisco Boy phone. My Cisco Boy phone is a Cisco IP phone. It's not on yet. We're going to turn it on. It's a Cisco 7940 series. This is a pretty standard AO2.3F series. The one that is coming with power over the internet. That means that eventually we're going to connect this using a regular cable. So, let's start plugging in everything from scratch. And I want you to see what I'm doing. I'm going to put this back over here and I'm going to set up in a couple seconds how I have everything installed. I'm sorry, I only have two hands over here, guys. So I'm going to connect this cable to the F014, the yellow one. Another one on the, on the bottom that says F00. Look, fast internet, zero, 01. This part over here, we're going to connect to the first port of my switch. And this one over here, I'm going to connect to my phone. When I got the phone over here, it got over here on one side. I'm sorry. Over here on one side, we have SW switch PC and PC port over here, switch port. Make very sure that you, you use the proper cable that is going very specifically for the specific port on this. On this situation, we're going to connect this over here, click, and we're going to connect this phone over here. To my stuff, to my switch. Now you see over here how I have a proper connection of everything together. Now, my phone is off. 
But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to connect my phone. And look how it's picking up all the signals properly. Configuring VLAN, as you can see. So it's picking up everything properly into the system. Now we're going to make a stop. I'm going to show you how to do everything because it's configuring the VLAN. And as I said before, VLAN, one VLAN is going for data, and the other VLAN is going very specifically for the voice. So, guys. I want to make sure that you enjoy this video, and hopefully you're gonna, hopefully you're gonna apply, and you're gonna follow through the second video as well. Have an excellent day, and thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.